Hi, welcome to AngeliqueJed.com where we talk about growing old disgracefully, which is kind of my thing. <laughs> hey everybody, it's been a little while since I did a YouTube um, clip. Um, today on growing old disgracefully, we've made a few decisions and one of those decisions is that Sunday will be video day. So Sunday social media and Sunday video. Instead of writing my words, I'm going to speak them to the camera. Um, it's been a great day here in New Zealand today. We won the quarterfinal against France in the Rugby World Cup. Um, first of all, I'd like to say that the French have no reason to be ashamed. They played really well in the first half, not so well in the second half, I admit. But I think we might have shaken them up a wee bit. Um, we won 62-13. I'm just checking my notes. Um, France have been a nemesis of New Zealand for such a long time. They have beaten us in quarterfinals, in semifinals, in test matches. Never yet in a final, um, but they've come pretty close. So today was a big game for us. Um, we went out there and we won, but you know the French went out there to win two and they played really well in that first half. And... Yes, they went home, but we're really looking forward to seeing them in the next World Cup. Um, New Zealand played really, really well. So, so proud to be a New Zealander this morning. Um, seeing Richie McCaw, Dan Carter, Ma Nonu um, and the boys out there on the pitch doing what they do best and doing it really, really well. Um, for those of you who are not New Zealanders, rugby is a big thing here in New Zealand. Um, Richie McCaw is a big thing here in New Zealand. He's a great captain, been a great role model for our young men and women. This is his last World Cup and the last time he's representing New Zealand because he will retire after this World Cup. Um, we now go on to play the um, Springboks from South Africa in the semi-finals and then hopefully we will go on to defend our World Cup that we won four years ago in the finals and hopefully take it home. Um, it'd be great to see a New Zealand-Ireland final. I think Argentina may take that match out, but I'd love to see the Irish there. It would be an awesome match. Um, so that, that's been a great morning. It was fantastic down at the Five Stags in Whitford for the Kiwi viewers and the Auckland viewers. Hey, if you get a chance to get out to Five Stags in Whitford, get out there. Great guys behind the bar. Great folks actually sitting around chatting, getting to know one another, um, just an amazing atmosphere. And for the rugby matches, they put on a $15 buffet breakfast, and trust me, it is worth every single cent. And no, they don't know I'm doing this YouTube, so it's not sponsored. Um, moving on, because I don't want to take up your whole day, and this is a quick blog post. New Zealand. For those of you who are not New Zealand readers, I live on the southeast Auckland coast of Auckland, our biggest city here in New Zealand. We have 1.3 million people, um, which makes up a big chunk of New Zealand's 4.5 million population. You do not want to know how many sheep we have, but there are a lot more than 4.5 million. It is sad how many sheep this country has. New Zealand's a great place. Um, if you're a Hobbit or a Lord of the Rings fan, come on out and visit us. A couple of hours down island from us is Hobbiton. Um, Sir Peter Jackson's a Kiwi. Russell Crowe's a Kiwi. Um, a whole lot of other people. Sam Neill. Um, all Kiwis. Fantastic place. Um, Dwayne Johnson spent a lot of time out here. You know, we, we really produce some great people. Auckland's an amazing city. I've been all over the world, lived in Paris, and I still think Auckland has the best vista in the world, especially in the evening. Um, if you have any any questions about Auckland, jump across to my blog, angeliquejed.com, throw me an email. Um, we'd love to do a Sunday afternoon video about, about your questions and get some answers out to you. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about today in today's blog was writing. So you can find me at angeliquejude.com. I blog about growing old disgracefully, because that's what I do, and about pop culture, because that's my thing. I specialise in pop culture. 
hence all the Bruce Springsteen pictures. Um, there's also a lot of superheroes in this house. There's a lot of um, minions in this house. There's a lot of social media in this house. Pop culture is my specialty. Um, jump along and have a look at the blog, see what we, we do on there. If you're looking to see what I do to um, pay the bills, jump over to smallblackcatmedia.com and that's where I help creative entrepreneurs find their story and tell it in the digital space. So I help those people who are creatives to do what I'm doing. You know, kind of show off a little in Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and Periscope. And you know, if, if you're a creative person and your, your focus is your writing or your art or your music, it can be a bit daunting, but that's okay, that's what I'm here for, that's what we do to help over at Small Black Cat Media. So jump over, see what we do there. Um, what else can I tell you today? If you would um, like to catch up with me on social media, you can find me on Facebook at Angelique R. Jude Writer. I have a page over there and I do follow back. Um, Angelique Jude on Twitter, on Periscope, on Instagram, you name it, I'm there. I'm a social media junkie and I do follow back and I will say hi. Um, I hope to see you here next Sunday. Hopefully we'll be celebrating another win with a little bit more rosé from Matthias. Um, against the, the Springboks and then on to that World Cup final. Go the Almighty All Blacks and we'll see you next week guys. Bye!